This lesson is going to be looking how energy is either transferred or transformed. So let me just give you an overview of the general setup for this, uh, this simulation. I have a water spigot with a water wheel, a electrical coil over here, and then water. So if I were to run this right now, I have uh, the ability to turn on the water. The water moves that uh, wheel, which then in turn is going to produce electricity and you notice that uh, that heats those coils that steam is producing. So let's take a look at what that looks like in energy. So going back over here in terms of energy, notice I have mechanical energy. This is the term I'd like to now use instead of kinetic energy. So when we're dealing with anything that is motion, we'll call it mechanical. Then we have electricity in blue. Uh, orange has thermal energy. Yellow is uh, signifying light and green chemical. So in this case, you see that there is energy leaving, uh, more or less being transferred from the water to the water wheel. Both of those are mechanical energy. That's why I use the word transferred, okay? This mechanical energy, however, is transformed so not transferred, but transformed into a different energy, which we call electrical energy. The electrical energy, in turn, is then again transformed, because it's changing the type of energy, into thermal energy. So we have here three types of energy that are being either, in this case, one that's being transferred. Both are mechanical energy. These two are being transformed. So in a different scenario, let's say we have the sun here, and now we'll use a photovoltaic cell. So the photovoltaic cell, you have light energy, that's why it's in yellow, being transformed into electrical energy, which in turn is then transformed into thermal energy. Again, a transform. Let, next, let's try a different type of energy. Here we have a kettle. And let's see if we can, you'll notice that the temperature is reducing over here. Still some energy leaving it. So with that, I'm going to heat this kettle. We have thermal energy being transformed into uh, mechanical energy. It's transformed not only to mechanical energy, but to thermal energy as well. So those water molecules are actually moving. They're causing this wheel to move. The mechanical energy is not the thermal energy, which in turn produces a transformation into electrical energy and then into thermal energy. All right, the last one we'll be doing is uh, the simulation of the bike. And you notice over here that there's a lot of energy in the body, which is in the form of chemical energy. This is green. This chemical energy is food, okay? So we have a lot of energy stored in our food, and this girl has a lot of food in her belly, and she's now going to transform that energy from chemical energy, as you can tell, to mechanical energy. That mechanical energy then is transferred and uh, tr to the wheel, and this energy then is transformed into electrical energy and lastly to thermal energy. So here's just some examples of how energy can be transformed and transferred.